Hello, there we go. Hello, my solopreneur friends. Hello, Facebook. Happy Thursday. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to get a shared on Facebook here while everybody joins. Hello and welcome. If you're joining me live, I would love to get this to share. Uh, if you're joining me live, make sure you say hi so that I know that you're here. Sometimes Facebook lets me know that you're you're here. Sometimes it doesn't. So I never quite know. So if you're here live, please make sure to say hello in the comments. If you're watching on replay, just type hashtag replay and say hi as well. I would love if you've got any questions about any of the things that I talk about. If you're ever wondering, well, what would Tiffany say about this? Or what does she mean by this? Make sure you put that in the comments. I would love to come back and answer those questions or maybe feature that question in a future live. I'm here to serve. I'm here to help solopreneurs grow their businesses. You got into business because it's something you love. I want to help make sure that you are successful at that. Because it all started for me, I've been in business for 10 and a half years now, which I can't believe, but I have. <clears throat> so I've done a lot, I've seen a lot, I've grown a successful business. I'm so grateful I've done it, but it has been a rocky road. And so if you are earlier in your journey or even around the same time, if you're looking for something to help you grow better, I wanna help you figure out what that is. And I wanna help you grow your business to be successful in the passion and the purpose that you have. So it started for me um, about a year into business when I was, I was happy doing, I'd been in business for myself for a year. I was happy doing what I was doing. I was just kind of happy. I, I was happy just doing all the work myself. I was just kind of doing my thing, right? Like I was happy that with that. I thought I was being successful. I thought I was growing a great business until someone said to me, well, Tiffany, congratulations. You have built yourself a job, not a business. And at first I was furious <laughs> until I realized she was right. Because what I realized is that I had gotten into business and I did not want to have a team. I didn't want to manage anybody. Like I just wanted to do it. I didn't want to have to deal with other people. <laughs> Maybe you know what, you're, what, what, what I'm talking about. I thought that having a team, I thought that having people to manage would be a headache, would be a hassle, that it would just take longer. So I just kind of wanted to stay focused and keep my blinders on and get my work done and serve my clients and help people. And I thought that was going to be good. And it was good and it was it was great and if that's what I wanted to stay at that would be great but I wanted to help more people and what I quickly found out is that I could only do so much and the amount that I could do physically energetically not lose my mindly <laughs> it, all that I could do I couldn't help the amount of people that I wanted to help with the capacity that I had so I quickly realized that in order to grow a business I was going to have to do something a little bit different, but I didn't know how I had no idea how I'd never grown a business before. So I set out on a journey to figure out how to grow a business. And I worked with some amazing coaches and gurus and learned so much great information about how to grow a business that I finally grew, built a successful business for myself. And I was pretty proud. But I was simultaneously watching my clients struggle with some of the thing, same things that I had struggled with. And I was helping them with their branding because I was, I'm a brand consultant and I was really a graphic designer and I was helping them create their brand, but they were still struggling with how do you, okay, so now they have the brand, now how do you make that live? How do you breathe life? into that? How do you make that exist in your daily operations and how you serve clients? How does that come together? And it was something I had struggled with as well. So I was looking at all this and 
wanted to come up with a way to help solopreneurs who were in a similar position like I had been to grow that business by figuring out that, 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 that foundation. Because what I saw is that there was a foundation missing, that there were some things that couldn't be grown upon until they had these things. And these things were primarily largely messaging, like being able to talk about who they were. But here's the thing, in order to get that message, they needed to know who they were. And that is a tricky thing, especially for solopreneurs, because we're all up in here and we think everybody sees the world like we do. So being able to figure out who we are was actually the very first step that I had to take that I helped my clients take, that I worked into this program that I now help my clients take this process to really dig in deep and figure out who they are and define that, solidify that, so that their messaging comes across loud and clear who they are and who they can best help. So that was a huge part of the foundation. The other part of the foundation though was client experience. That being able, again, for solopreneurs, we just serve. We just do the best we do, and that's awesome. But if we want to start growing and if we want to start bringing in other people, if we want to start automating things, some of that needs to be a little bit clearer and a little bit more defined. So being able to clearly define a client experience, to map it out so that uh, they knew exactly how they wanted to serve their clients at every stage that their client is with them is such a powerful exercise for us. And most people don't do it, especially solopreneurs. So that is such a powerful experience, uh, experience to create your client experience. And then once you have that identity and that messaging and that experience dialed in, now it's re- Now you're ready to start systematizing. Now I remember when I, um, I was just talking with one of my former business coaches actually, and I came to her specifically looking for systems. I said, I just need systems because I kept hearing that systems was the only way to build a successful business. And so I went to her and I said, I needed systems. And so they, they, she said to me, that's great, but we got to figure out all this first. But once I got to the systems, that's everything that I built up, just like in the scale your brand program, Everything, the identity, the messaging, the client experience now has to come through the systems and figuring out how to, one, document those systems, but two, make sure that those systems reflect that client experience, reflect that brand identity. It's so critical to be able to be successful, to grow to that next level for a solopreneur. Once you've got those systems in place, then you can hire team members then you have a way to train them to pick the right team members to get team members on your team that you actually love working with and that headache that i anticipated back earlier uh or in, when i started my business what that i anticipated having team members would be horrible by doing it the right way and finding the right people who align with you having team members is a joy <laughs> And you get so much more done and you can serve more people and you can make more money. So that's why I put together the scale your brand method the way I did, because it's helping solopreneurs build that foundation so that you can take the next step and go to the next level. And it's so important to have that foundation. And looking back, I didn't have that foundation. I had to figure out that foundation. And so my whole goal with this scale your brand method is, and the mastermind that I do with it is helping people accelerate that a little bit. It is definitely a process. Like it doesn't necessarily seem fast while we're in the process, but still by the end of three months, you are are further along than you could have been if you were doing this on your own because it took me 10 years. (laughs) So that's what the scale your brand method is all about. And we're gonna be opening a new Scale Your Brand Mastermind in January. So if you are interested, make sure you PM me, um, let me know, put in the comments below, and I'll make sure that you get on that first list of the first people who know that it's available. And um, I'll make sure you get on that. I'm also gonna be speaking at, at a summit called Path to Powers Summit 
December 10th to the 12th. It's going to be a pretty amazing lineup of very amazing people. And I will be one of the speakers, so be watching for that. I'll be excited to share that with you as well. And again, if you've got questions, if you've got comments, I'm not seeing any comments, but you know how that goes. <laughs> Um, if you've got comments, if you've got questions, make sure you post, it, post that in the comments below. I'll be sure to come back and answer those. So thanks for joining me today. Hello to everybody who's on live with me, and I will look forward to seeing you. Actually, I won't see you next week because it is Thanksgiving, unless I decide to just pop on for something fun. But otherwise, have a wonderful, blessed, and safe, healthy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you the following week. Bye-bye.